What is up guys? It is Shiva from Nintendo Cario and today's video is a little bit more serious one. So I'm going to take you uh, through some backstory and um, yeah. So uh, just a disclaimer before we get started. I am a true Apple fanboy. I love Apple. I have an Apple Watch. I have an iPhone 10. okay? I even have like this cool like skin, okay? It's just, this issue I feel like needs to be heard. So let me just get into it. So I have this MacBook. Uh, it's a MacBook 2018 13 inch model. I just recently got this. Uh, I unboxed it on my Instagram uh, TV account, uh, which you can go check down below. It's gonna be uh, linked to my Instagram. But going back to subject. So I recently just got this. Uh, it's been about a week or so. Um, I'm in the review process, uh, but so far I've been putting it through its paces. I've used it for, um, you know, Final Cut, you know, editing videos, um, using Logic Pro because I also produce music. I used it for consuming media, uh, like watching movies, uh, watching YouTube videos, and this machine has been awesome, but I have a couple issues with them. The first issue is one of a more recent issue. So it's uh, so if you guys haven't heard, if you're living under a rock, uh, the MacBook 15-inch uh, i9 model was overheating. It was getting thermal throttling, which uh, in layman's terms means that the CPU was slowing down because it was overheating because of no cooling. Uh, and the CPU is the brains of the computer, so it handles all the computational tasks. So uh, it was overheating, uh, long story short, Apple fixed it uh, in a patch, and it's been great. But, last night, uh, I was using my MacBook for Logic Pro, and, you know, it's it's uh, normal to see the CPU get warmer in temperature when using uh, Pro apps like Logic or, you know, Final Cut. But, I closed out Logic, and... I was just doing regular media consumption. So, you know, I start feeling, because I had this on my lap, I was like, going, wow, this is getting pretty hot. Let me, I, I wanna see what the temperature is. Well, Apple uh, doesn't have anything uh, except Activity Monitor, which shows you uh, which apps or programs are using the most um, of the CPU. So um, I said, you know, I, I need to check the temps. So I got this awesome program. Uh, I'll leave a link down below of that program. It's called Mac Fan Control. And essentially you can control the fans. It's awesome. Uh, but the main purpose of that program, what I was using it for was checking the temperature of the CPU. So I go check in. And these things were running at like 111 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I'll show you an example uh, of that. And Keep in mind, we weren't using any pro apps. We weren't using Logic, Final Cut, uh, GarageBand, iMovie, nothing like that. Nothing was even open, except for Safari. Um, so I checked on Activity Monitor. And Safari was taking the most. It was taking about 16% of the CPU. And I was doing basic things, like going on YouTube, going on blogs, forums, you know, to check my daily news. So. I don't know what Apple can do. I recently just talked to an Apple representative about these two issues that I'm gonna be talking about in today's video. Um, and I booked an appointment, so I'll make an update video for that. But I I don't know what to say. Um, you know, Apple should have fixed this. Um, but, you know, that's not the main issue that I've had. Um, you know, that's one of them, but the second issue of the MacBook Pro uh, that I've had uh, is crackling of the audio. Um, so really quick, I'm going to tell you the specs of my uh, computer because I got it custom made. So uh, it's the MacBook Pro 13-inch 2018 uh, model with um, i5, 16 gigs of RAM, uh, 512 gig SSD. Uh, again, it's been a beast. Beasted! 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 Uh, so I got custom made, but last night while I was using Logic, uh, you know, I had my beats plugged in, uh, you know, listening to a lot of the you know, beats that I was making, 
Um, and I hear this weird crackling. So I thought it was the USB-C hub, which I had because I've been having problems with this USB-C hub for a long time and I just, I don't, I don't recommend it. It's the hyperdrive. Don't recommend it. It's a piece of garbage. Okay, it's a piece of garbage. I don't recommend it. Um, but anyways, going back to the point, so I unplugged my uh, keyboard that I record everything in. I replugged it back in and I keep hearing this issue. I was like going, okay, if it's not the keyboard, is it the headphones? And so I unplugged those, uh, I plugged them back, still getting the issue. And so I like said, you know what? I'm gonna put this on Bluetooth. I'm gonna see if this is an issue with the headphones itself, perfectly fine. Um, you know, and this wasn't just listening to music. It was on Logic, it was listening to music, it was on YouTube. Um, uh, there are other issues going on last night too that I was just like, well, what is going on? Like, this shouldn't be happening, you know? So, weird audio crackling. Well, I wake up this morning. I go on Mac Rumors, okay? The first post was users that have MacBook Pro 2018 models, 13 and 15 inch, have been having audio crackling issues. I was like, going. So, Apple, what are you doing? Now, my two predictions uh, of why the, these issues are occurring. So, one is the new T2 chip. Now, this T2 chip uh, pretty much handles all the encryption, uh, all the audio, video, sound, uh, you know, it, it does a lot more um, versus its first generation, which only uh, worked on security and encryption. So, uh, my theory is that this chip is doing too much work. It's getting overloaded with all these different processes and that's why we're seeing issues after issues after issues of different things. And it's just, yeah, it was just, it was just bad. So that's the first thing that I think is going on. The T2 chip, you know, overloading uh, with so many different tasks and such. The second thing that I think is going on is, you know, probably it's a small batch of models that the audio stuff isn't working, the thermals aren't working, because um, I, for right now, am the only one that is having thermal issues with my MacBook Pro uh, as of the patch. And so it might be because of that. But, you know, I made sure my headphones were working, the audio was awesome, Bluetooth was awesome. So, but the thing is, we've had audio crackling issues before uh, with bootcamp more specifically, um, and that was fixed through some audio drivers, so uh, through their patch, uh, their software patch. So I definitely do think that uh, it's an easy fix for Apple, um, but you know, before I do the review video, I just want to arise these issues that I've been having, and it's you know frustrating to see. You know, I love Apple. I have you know, like I said, I have an Apple Watch. I have an iPhone 10. I have a, you know, old Macs and stuff, you know, the whole house is Apple products, but I had to wait a week just for it to get this computer, and it was pretty frustrating, especially since I got a custom order. But other than that, other than those issues, you know, I'm loving this computer. It gives enough horsepower to get the job done, faster render times, everything that you've been seeing with uh, the MacBook Pro, I've been getting. Um, but these issues, I feel like, need to be arisen, and, you know, Apple was great. Um, I called them up on Apple Care, um, and they were helping me. They, uh, so they, like I said, they booked an appointment. I'm gonna be going this Saturday uh, to get a diagnose from some Apple support or the Genius Bar. Uh, so I'll make an update video before then. But other than that, um, please like and share this video. I, I really want this shared to as many people as possible, uh, just so they know about the problems and hopefully uh, we can get it up to Apple even, you know, seeing if uh, there's even more issues with the T2 chip. Uh, maybe they need to recall the models. Um, so please share and like this video. Uh, I really do appreciate it. And yeah, thanks so much, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.